Hello, babies. So this video was supposed to be out on Thursday, and apologies for that. Cat is part of the huge cancellations that have been happening on Southwest Airlines. They were supposed to be back earlier this week, but they are currently stuck in Utah. So hi, Cat. I know you're probably watching this over in Utah. We love you and we miss you. And everybody, if you could send just some some hearts in the comments for Cat so that they see them, I know they're going to read them and that would really help because I know they've been really stressed out. So all of the launch day prep that I would normally be doing with Cat, I've been doing by myself. So I haven't had as much time to video edit. So Apologies for that. Video is out now. I am thinking about changing our upload day to Saturdays. We'll see what happens. But launch day was yesterday. So if you want to get any of your Christmas soaps, they are extremely limited. We only made 15 of each one of them and they are available now. We've also restocked Coffee Drip, Big Bang, Big Bad Wood, and Lavender Fields. And we now have a rewards program that's part of the website, so you earn points for every purchase that you make. You can redeem those points for money off on future orders. There's also a referral program built into that, that if you refer somebody to come and make a purchase, they get $5 off and you get $5 off. Should be fun. I know there's a lot of you that like to refer us out to your friends and family, so this is a way for us to kind of say thank you for that. We appreciate that. So let's go ahead and dive into the video, and we will see you later. Welcome to Cat and Raven Designs. I'm Cat and I'm Raven. Cat, they them. Raven, she her. Hey, we're making more Christmas soaps. This is going to be our final video of cryptids. <sighs> The last one. I know. Because we're not refilming Mothman. We remake Mothman every year. You've seen us do it, like, what? Two times already? I think so. Yeah, that's enough times. You guys love Mothman. Of course. Who doesn't love Mothman? Exactly. All right. Don't touch Mothman. Yes. I want to go out and go touch the Mothman butt on the statue. The Mothman statue butt. But we're not doing Mothman butt today. No. What are we doing? Flatwoods monster. Yes. <laughs> and uh, here is your Flatwoods Monster sticker that I have constructed for you. Enjoy. Confession, I know nothing about the Flatwoods Monster. I just thought it looked cute. Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> the pictures? You didn't even look it up? I looked up the pictures and it was cute. And I think it's in Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Raven probably looked it up. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, it's so cute, I want to do it. Also, I knew about it beforehand, too, so there was that. <laughs> I heard about it on TikTok. <laughs> you heard about it on TikTok? Yes. Ugh. <laughs> I'm dying a little. On um, one of my deep dive rabbit holes, where I just went down, scrolled, 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 scrolled. Excuse you, Popo. Did he listen? <laughs> oh no, it's an ambulance and it's outside the house. Oh. It's across the way, isn't it? Uh, uh, nope, nope, it's leaving. Nope. It's going further down. Goodbye. So the fragrance I will be using. <laughs> no. High tide. Here's your fragrance notes. I think Raven's going to stop letting me handle the fragrance. You're not allowed to. Illegal. Because I like to do things. The colors I will be using, Black Iron Oxide from Mad Micus. We've got a mixture of Savage Garden and Bronze Brown. And then this one, we've got a combination of Silver Mist and Gray Satin Pillowcase. Let's go! Rawr. Rawr. What's up? Rawr. What do you want? Nothing. What if I got all this? That might be cool. Raven's doing her aesthetic bolt again. It's, look. It's interesting. Go ahead. Nice. So I know you like the Fallout series, right? Yes. Have you played Fallout 76? No. Well, that game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. The thing is, is I hear it's gotten better. Mm-hmm. I hear it's gotten better, but holy mother <laughs> was it glitchy as <laughs> when it uh was first released. So I never bothered playing it, and I hate Fallout 4. I was gonna ask, like, did you play Fallout 76? Because apparently the, fall the Flatwoods monster is in Fallout 76. I've heard that too. I've seen video of it. 
It exists. Cool. Good for it. <laughs> Here I am trying to make conversation and Kat's like, F- that. <laughs> okay, the thing is, is like, Bethesda did real good with Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Fantastic games. I love them. And then they did 76 and 4. I feel like maybe I should not have brought this up. <laughs> I was watching um, some video essays by each bomber guy about Fallout recently, Mm -hmm. which is probably the most Fallout content I've ever consumed. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess his video essays are long, but they're nice to listen to while I'm like drawing or something. He was talking about Fallout and how Fallout Las Vegas is apparently the best Fallout. Yes. New Vegas. Yeah. New Vegas is the best Fallout and that Fallout 3 is terrible. Um, <laughs> no, Fallout 3 is good. Fallout 4 is terrible. Uh, Fallout 4 hadn't come out, I think, by the time he did the video. But... Oh, yeah. No, I liked 3. 3 was fine. 3 was good. I mean, it kind of had a lame ending, but otherwise, like, it was fine. The only real... Before, like, seeing you play Fallout, the only awareness I had of Fallout was the McElroys talking about Fallout 76, because apparently it's set in West Virginia, which is where they're from. Mm-hmm. And they were, like, personally offended by it. Hi, baby. Hey. Sorry, we're doing soap. It's okay. You guys gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. At oh. least we'll be done filming after this. It's our own personal cryptid. Our own person. Yeah, the house cryptid. House cryptid. Yeah. Strange voice picked up while people are filming soap making. Ta da! Ta da! Got all my colors blended real quick. Like a dark, foresty galaxy kind of thing going on. That was the goal. So, based on likeness, are you bundling this with some mall pan stickers? <laughs> We already have, like, three Mothman stickers. Yeah. I'm just saying, Braxy looks like a Mothman. Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Look at David even knowing the Flatwoods monster's other name. I mean, I did listen to almost all of the Cryptid Keepers podcasts for a long time before they uh, retired. This fragrance actually accelerated on you the last time you used it, by the way. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh. Great. <laughs> it's not accelerating on me right now. Oh. <laughs> Pour your soap. Jeez. So I got I got a little frown face mouth. Well, how are you gonna keep from getting uh air pocket in there? Um so where can your viewers send uh, complaints that you didn't do other cryptids? Like, where's my phantom kangaroo? I talked about the phantom kangaroo. But did they get a soap? No. I can only do so many soaps, baby. I'm worried you're going to have an air pocket in there, homie. Beast of Bray Road? Not done a Beast of Bray Road. But they're the sexiest of werewolves. <laughs> I'm sorry, we haven't had a monster for a month yet, sorry. Fingers crossed, All there's right. no air pocket. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. Oh. Mm. Pouring too high. Oh no. I need to learn to start pouring sideways so that way we can film it easier. Oh, by the way, um, our soap dough that we're using for the embeds here is made using the soap dough recipe from Starcross Soapery with our friend Danny. I'll make sure to link her down below. Okay. I'm going to have you do a thing now. Me? Yeah, I'm going to have you take the spatula Uh and kind of hold it over so the eyes don't move. Oh. We're getting judgmental, are we? Oh. I think that is a... Perfecto right there. Frosting time! In the pot frosting. Yes. We've, I, we've done that before, I think, right? I don't think so. I have no idea. I don't remember. We've made so many soaps at this point. I think we're up to nearly 200 that we've done on camera. Which means we've done more than 200 total designs. 
I mean, some of those are duplicates, mind you, but we're getting pretty close. But I think it's going to be really cool. I agree. If it works. Hopefully. All right. Well, we'll let this set up. We'll be right back. Well, that was quick. That's why I like putting fragrance oil in the frosting. This it usually sets up faster. Guess what, folks? You'll get to see a miracle. Or a very rare thing, at least. You gonna pipe your own frosting? <laughs> what? Plop. Plop. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? We just plop in the frosting in mm -hmm. there. <laughs> hey, <laughs> not a bad idea, right? Uh oh. Might still be a little loose. Yeah, it'll be all right. You'll make it work. I believe in you. I don't know if I can pipe with it this loose. Well, you could try. I mean, you're going to be shaping it anyway. Yeah, I just. Just start straight down the middle. I can't. <laughs> well, uh, I wouldn't put it straight back in there because now it's full of soap. Yeah. Um, um, Grab me a rubber band. Guess just leave it on the table for a few minutes. Yep. It's a poop. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hang tight. A few moments later. Okay, next! I'm gonna use the thing. Fingers crossed that it works. You wanna tell us what the thing is? No, I'll just show you. <sighs> Infuriating. <laughs> <laughs> texture. It's supposed to try and give it a little bit of leafy texture when you look at it from the front. I think that's the best I'm gonna get with my texture, but at least I got some texture. Fingers crossed that when we cut it, it's it looks good-ish. <laughs> I don't wait, think it's going to. Wait, does that mean I did the only soap with glitter for this collection? Yes. What? Alright, so let's maybe catch this. This is just hella crotch shot. No! God dang it, cat! <laughs> no! <laughs> Censored. <laughs> so we'll see how this comes out. We're going to let it sit in the mold overnight, and we will come back tomorrow and cut it. So we'll see you then. Bye! I'm a little nervous. Why are you nervous? That side looks really cool. I know, but, like, my my plan for the, the leafy-looking top, or, like, looking like the top of a leaf, did not, um... It's messy. But those sides look so... Oh, camera. Those sides look so neat. Sorry, camera is apparently, like, loose on its attachment to the tripod. I'm gonna need to take a screwdriver to it. Ready when you are. Alright. Let's do this. <laughs> you have an air pocket. Maybe we just pour some melt pour in there, like some little red melt pour. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could if you want to. You want to bring it back so we can see it? <laughs> Come on. Look at that swirl, though. It came out really cool. Hold on. Let me, let me pop up a little higher so I can see a little better here. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Right now, it looks a little bit like it's got a mustache and an open mouth. <laughs> it does. <laughs> uh, like, it's like, oh no. Why do you have to make all footage unusable? <laughs> Why do you do this to me? <laughs> like, if you're not looking elsewhere and not at the camera, you're pulling it off constantly. <laughs> uh, I tried to warn you you were going to have an air pocket. I tried to warn you. And I tried to do what I could to not have one, and there is one, and that's okay. Yeah. We have clear mountain pour. Yeah.
I can make it work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, let's do another one. Let me see another one. <laughs> I really like the swirls. Like, look at the frosting. It's so cool. And, like, the swirls of the green and everything and the gray and the black came out really cool. But it is a shocked uh, 1980s man with a mustache. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh goodness! Like it's cool. I'm really, I really like it. It just also looks like a man. Quick little preview. That's Mothman over there too. Hey, hey, hey! This one. Oh, oh! No air pocket. Oh uh, yeah, look at that one. Where, where are you going? <laughs> moving. Stop the moving. Light out of the a bit little further back, so it doesn't do the reflecting <laughs> off the soap too bad. Pick an activity. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, then, do you maybe want to try and fill the the hole with like green mountain pour instead? We'll see. I have come to hate that phrase. <laughs> I hate it so very much. Why are you like this? Oh, here's another one. Because I love nothing more than but than being difficult. I'm so difficult. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yep, there's another one with no air pocket. My life's purpose is to be difficult. I hate it. Thank you. <laughs> I like it. I like its big eyes. Me too. I wanted it to have like the big <laughs> saucer eyes. Yeah. These six, the middle six over here, are the only ones with air pockets. So out of 15, six have air pockets. <laughs> These don't have air pockets. Grade Bs. All right. Well, um, maybe maybe if you like lay them flat on the table, you can pour melt and pour into them. You are not even on camera. Yeah, I am. No. Inadequate. <laughs> See, I'm on camera. I hate this. Why do you do this? Do what? You just, just <laughs> always do this. Okay. <laughs> Let's do the outro. Jeez. <laughs> All right. So here's your close up on the finished Flatwoods Monster Bars. These are the ones with no air pocket in its little frowny face. I think they came out so swirly and cool. Look at that. How neat is that, huh? Really like the swirl. They're All right. supposed to have a marbled effect. Yeah, they look neat. So these are going to be available at the end of December, the last Friday of December. I'll flash the date across the screen for you now as part of our Christmas collection, which is going to have these, the Jackalope, Mothman, and the Beast of Exmoor. Uh, Beast of Exmoor being the derpiest of the entire collection. Beast of Exmoor being derpy cat? Oh, it tried. It is very definitely derpy cat. <laughs> so I am going to remind you that uh, if there's stuff that you need to get done and you're feeling kind of overwhelmed because there's too many things to get done, pick one thing. It doesn't matter how big or small it is. Even if it's just like get the trash out of the trash can and put a new bag in it. Pick one thing and go get it done, okay? And then you're going to be uh, 10, 10 points. 10 points to you if you can get one thing done. And you will be winning this entire day. All right. This is your hydration reminder as well. And we will catch you for next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.